Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning and Life Packs. Today I'm gonna to show you what happens when you put a bundle of lemons behind your door. And I also have a bonus tip for you when it comes to these lemons. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is cut up your lemon in little pieces. It doesn't really matter what type of pieces you cut them up into, just that they are cut up. Next, get yourself a coffee filter or you can even use a face mask. I have a ton of videos on that. And something to tie it off with. Here I just have a good old rubber band. You can see here I've squeezed squeeze my lemon just a little bit around the outside and inside right here. You don't want to fully soak your coffee filter if that's what you are using, but you want to get a little bit around there, rub it around, tie it off. That smells wonderful, by the way. Next step, we'll just walk into my office space right here and I'm going to put it right behind the door. And why might I put it right behind the door in this little crack right here? Well, this leads to an outside deck where bugs and ants like to come into the house, particularly when it's springtime. Give me a thumbs up if you got little ants or little rodents crawling in. You can also put it by a windowsill. But why lemon? We love them as humans. But the beauty about lemons, the smell, the citrus, the acidity it deters rodents and ants. Now I have an even better trick for you if you do not want a bundle of lemons just hanging out behind your door or on your windowsill or by your entryway. Get that coffee filter or you could just use a paper towel. I have a ton of these laying around from previous video. Get yourself some citric acid. I love cleaning with this. It replaces lemon juice. You can see right here on the label, use for canning tomatoes. Now you're gonna open this on up. You can put it inside of here or inside of your paper towel or Depending upon the severity of your bug and rodent situation, you can just go ahead and sprinkle it right along here. Back your face away because this powder is very fine and it is very potent and pungent. A little goes a long way when it comes to this. So if you're having major bug problem, just use a little and then continue to increase as time goes on. I prefer this when it comes to bugs and rodents coming in and ants coming into your house because the lemon juice dries more quickly. This tends to stick around a lot longer. I have a little bonus tip here for you. This works great on your windowsills or along the doors right here is this is great for cleaning. Look at that right here. Gone dirt, gone, and it smells amazing. It's gonna keep those rodents out. Yes, looking good. Ooh, I gotta get in there more often. All right, my friend, give this video a thumbs up. YouTube thinks you're gonna wanna watch this video, but I think you're gonna wanna watch this one. Let's see who's right.